M0FXB Hamtech, welcome back to the channel. So if you've got yourself a Zygu G90 that looks like this, very popular set because it's 20 watts, HF has a waterfall, SWR, analyzer, built-in ATU and decodes CW, you may be interested in this unit, the Zygu Golf Sierra Oscar Charlie GSOC. So let's take a look at some screenshots of this and then we'll discuss what we think about it. It's a touch screen interface. You can see there, it's got a very desirable design. The case is a metal case. It does add two USB ports to the left. And then you can see there on the right, you've got some push buttons that are backlit with a light or sort of green glow and a couple of turning knobs. It looks like you've got the inner and outer knob on the, on the top right hand side, VFO knob, lock button and remember it's touch screen so a lot of what you can do is on the front and yes you can actually hack into these and change the firmware if you've got that sort of know-how let's look through some of the uh, photographs now i've seen a few reviews on this and the reviews are mixed there is a new firmware where they added so i'll quickly show you that They've added a Bluetooth serial port. You still need to buy a Bluetooth dongle, but these dongles are like five pound. Or I've seen them for less. They're like four pound. Uh, and they give you the actual model that you should be searching for when you purchase this device. And this is the instructions, which we will look at closer and we'll actually test it, but they use FL Digi. Actually it's FL Rig. And the microphone that comes with the set, which is this backlit microphone that controls most of the functions, does plug into the right hand side of the unit. As you can see here in this photograph, I mean, they've really got the design right. The interaction, I would say, is about 90, 95% right. They are working on firmware updates, and the most recent one was third of uh let's have a look here 2021 i'm not sure which way around they put the months and the dates but let's just say early 2021 and that was when they added these features here in the firmware which are bluetooth add full reset button in system menu reduce cw side tone latency with g90 main unit firmware 1.77 so you do need to update your firmware to the latest firmware for your G90. But anyway, back to the previous previous firmware, it solved the CW side tone delay problem, solved the problem of the unstable system and occasional crash, added RTTY modem, CW decoder, CW, uh, sorry, SW scanner, added FFT waterfall level adjustment, added FFT line fill color mix. So they are still working on this device. And as the description says here, smooth knob and stand holder, okay? Support mouse and keyboard, so you can plug that into the USB ports. This is what comes in the package. So you, you remove the head unit from your G90, which comes off just with a couple of screws. Remove it completely, and then you use this. I really like it. The price has come right down now. These were selling around in the UK around, you know, nearly 500 pounds. Now they've come down to about, I found one on AliExpress for 330 pounds delivered. So I think that's way more reasonable. If you, if you are a person that wants to keep your G90, which I am, yeah, then I think this is a, a good, a good addition. It's not perfect, but which radio is perfect, especially if you go, if you go, and this is a budget radio, even the DSOC, it is a budget device, although it's, this one has been well made, um, like the, the case on the X6100, it's, it, you know, it's, it's a solid case, yeah, if it feels rugged, if you take it in the field and you use HF on the X6100, I know people complain about bugs and, but generally, in the field, it's a beautiful radio to use and so will this this is in that kind of uh, visual um, sort of enhancements that, that are there that you're going to enjoy it in a very similar way to the x6 100 but this I don't know I don't know if I call this 
portable. It's hard, it's hard to say because you've got two units. So yeah, let me know what you think. You can see there the difference in the, the, the screen size. Seven inch, that's a large screen. This isn't a small device, this is a big device. And uh, the interface there where you can choose the frequency and manipulate all the other settings, including the waterfall scope, the mode. If you look at the very top there, you can see the band filter, very similar to the icon type. Now remember, I've not used this device, I haven't got this device, I'm, I'm just learning it now. Uh, but I will be using it and testing it. I, it. You know, AliExpress nowadays, six, seven days and it's here. Um, but don't get me wrong, you know, this listing is from Raid, um, Radiolity and if you are, I'm not sure they deliver to me here in the UK, but if they de deliver to you, then they're gonna provide excellent backup and service. And there's your connector where you remove the head unit, you connect the connector, I think it's three cables and you're connected, yeah. And it's got this IQ out as well. So just scrolling through the pics, there's a USB, just there, and it says here TF, so is that an SD card for memories? There's the microphone, plugs in, and you can see your little IF out, DC in as well, so you will have to power this unit. So when you look over to the right hand side here, what we're seeing is a couple of groups that have been created, so they've got the open source group, and I've I'll show you that. And yes, one of the big ones is the, the Bluetooth C report that they added, which we talked about just now. The instructions for the Bluetooth seem straightforward and they've got dedicated instructions for this. So the unit doesn't have a built-in Bluetooth adapter. So you, you buy the adapter and then you prepare the device with these commands, let's call it settings. I, once I've got the adapter here and the GSOC, I'll do a video adding it, but it seems straightforward to me. And then it, I'm, if you can use FL Rig with this, then that Bluetooth connectivity is going to allow you to do other things. I wonder if it will, if it would allow WFU. I don't know until I, I need more time on it. So there's that. There's a wiki page here where they're still gathering information so they you know I've heard comments that they've given up on this I don't think so I think that there's it's an ongoing product that they plan to keep selling if you look on all the sellers Amazon eBay of course Radiolity probably Retivis and other companies they're all still selling this item so they, they have not given up on this and there's even a group here it says here join them the moderated x90 discussion group so I'm definitely going to join that now just click here apply and then put my email address, m0fxb at outlook.com. You can email me. I try and answer all the emails that I get. Um, and then, um, so we'll log into that. So here I am on the group and we'll look at that more later. There's another page here called GSOC Jailbreak. So not looked into that. This looks like it would be right up temporarily on lines or off lines, you know, be exactly what he's interested in. So official firmware updates are distributed as an image for a bootable SD card that repartitions and reinstalls everything on the internal storage. Is that like the X6100, I guess? So it's not really my thing, but look, if you look here, so there's a comment here to modify and get into the root menu. I'm not into Linux, but I do find it interesting, of course. You can change the root password. We've got some items here on the right. Hardware interface, internet connection, jailbreak. So what's the internet connection? Connect your GSOC, GSOC to the internet as follows. Warning, the stock firmware is likely not hardened for internet access. So if you follow these steps, be sure you are behind a qualified firewall. Yeah, that makes sense. Hat tip, so Bluetooth. So as you can see that, you know, you can experiment with this, experiment with this device. And they even recommend which model to buy. Look, they're saying it here. USB dongle, and they're giving you the actual model. So I'll add all these 
links in the description. So you've got the hacking link, the group link, the main link with all the photographs. I like it. I think if you're gonna if you've got a G90 and you plan to keep it forever, I think it's almost a must-have product. If you're thinking of selling it, then no. It's looking, you know, and I've seen videos of this and the videos are as good as the images. It's a beautiful device. And 20 watts. The new Zygo X6 200, 8 watts. This is like having that, you know, with 20 watts, which I'm not even going to say, you know. Bye for now. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel. Lots more videos to make while I'm drinking cups of tea and quite looking, I'm very much looking forward to tinkering with this device and really get, getting to know this device. And then I can tell you what I really think because the G90 is an amazing set and when you sit very close to it and with some nice magnified glasses on, you can really have a lot of fun with it and get some good contacts, but you will be squinting your eyes. <laughs> uh, it's a 7.3 all the best.